Minnesota first. Like an increase in deaths related to overdoses with a 49% increase from 2019 to 2020. Nakaya Carrero spoke with first responders who say the issue is not showing any signs of slowing down. In 2020, there were 118 people who lost their lives due to drugs. And metro area ambulance services say there is no sign of the issue slowing down in 2021. 2021, we've already met what we did in 2020 for um, just, just, just responding to overdose calls of nature. Um, we've also administered Narcan two-thirds of the amount that we had in 2020 already, and we still got four months to go. Deputy Chief Davis says once they arrive on scene, they immediately begin securing airways and stabilizing the person. He says they are noticing there is no specific group of people who are overdosing. It's kind of everybody. It's from young to middle age. We don't see a lot of elderly people. It, um, we do get them from the nursing home sometimes where they're just not responding, but it's from a fentanyl patch or too much of a, a narcotic at one time. Bismarck Police Department is seeing a pattern of people overdosing on fentanyl pills, which are commonly mistaken for prescription pills. Lieutenant Luke Garner says the number of overdoses in the community likely surpasses the calls the police answer. How many of those are not reported to us? So there's also a lot of unreported overdoses that we don't even hear about. I would imagine that most of the fatal ones we do hear about, but there's got to be a bunch of overdoses out there that we don't even hear about because people are using Narcan themselves. Garner says drug-related deaths do not end there as the police department opens an investigation to locate those responsible for the drugs. It can start from somebody getting into a car wreck and then becoming addicted to pres prescription pills and then moving up to heroin. So this, this problem doesn't affect just one group of people. It affects a nation. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Nakaya Carrero. The Bismarck Police Department reports that over the last three years, they've continued to see a rise in overdoses every year.